हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब एंड क्रोपर साइप्रस दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द बेस्ट ऑटोमेशन फ्रेमवर्क विच इज अवेलेबल राइट नाउ फॉर एनी वेब एप्लीकेशन एंड इट्स वेरी पॉपुलर राइट नाउ एवरी वन इज लविंग इट बिकॉज इट हैज़ रियली अमेजिंग फीचर्स एंड आई ऑल्सो लव दिस the kind of feature the kind of uh, innovation it has that's really amazing and it has taken the web automation to the next level and really optimized a lot of process which where we were doing the manual effort earlier so let's see how can we use selector sub to further optimize the writing cypress script and how can we uh, use selector sub with cypress how can we write the uh, uh, cypress script 10 times faster by using selector sub so let's see all those amazing features and capabilities of selector sub and how can we uh, do these things really efficiently so let's get it started if you are new to selector sub i would uh, really request you to please watch the vi detailed video tutorial the link i have left in the description as well as like if you com uh, come to this uh, selector sub.com here you will find the uh, latest video tutorial with the like all the details here and uh, once you watch that it's very simple it's a, just a browser extension to uh, write selectors generate selectors and al with along with a uh, lots of amazing features i have done the basic setup of cypress so if uh, you are someone who is new to cypress so for that like uh, i'm not going to show you the setup how to like uh, do the setup of uh, cypress and all so for that like there are lots of uh, great tutorial available on uh, different uh, youtube channels those are really good good i would uh, request like if you are new to cypress please go and watch them first and if you have the like already set up and uh, you are working on cypress then this is going to be really helpful for you so this is a very simple setup here uh, very simple uh, test case this one here i'm opening this website and uh, once in cypress once you uh, like write the test case so there is a feature like if you save it it will execute your test case if uh, like you can also disable that there are lots of feature on that so let me just save this one and uh, here is the cypress window which used to open like uh, where test case your uh, test case used to uh, get executed like in selenium it used to just open a new uh, window but you can't find the all these features there so this is really good like in case of cypress it opens with the like here you can find all the steps which which are there in your script pass fail you can re execute the test case you can also see the like from here you can execute this test case here you will see that it will show that uh, screenshot here so the all those things are there those are really good so uh, here i'm taking the test case of this one so like here uh, uh, this is the website here and we have to create a new account on this so on this uh, like uh, what we will do we will uh, we have to enter these values first name surname mobile number password and all these fields we have to select so uh, how we do it today like what we will do we need the basically selectors for each and every field so we will do inspect and on inspect you will see that uh, there is, this is the tag input tag and now if we have to uh, like write the selectors for this one so what we will do let's open selector sub here and selector sub is here and here if you see that this one here it shows the id and here id looks like pretty much dynamic like u0 and 1k and this one <laughs> if you see that uh, here selector sub itself suggest you that id looks like dynamic so it is suggesting you that this id is dynamic don't use this one let me copy this and paste it here currently it is finding one element matching let's refresh the page and hit enter again you see that it is saying zero element matching so this is dynamic id here on this page ids are dynamic so we should not use the id 
this is a really good thing and you know that in uh, cypress we will be mostly using css selector so we will be referring this one the very first one and this is a really great thing on selector sub that this is the very first tool which made it possible to gen get the relative css selector as well as you can write your own css selector here like if you want to write css selector for this one you can do that uh, like this way and here you can build your own css selectors and lots of uh, amazing features and things are there which will help you to directly build your own css selectors so that's a like a really good thing you can directly build here css selector so uh, yeah I, I mean don't consider selectors of just as in like uh, to generate for generating the selectors here you can build your own x path and selectors it's not like just auto generating okay so we will not get this we will not take this one because id is dynamic so what selector sub is suggesting id looks like dynamic uncheck the id so we will uncheck this id and now you see that selector sub is generating the selectors with name attribute which is pretty much stable so we can copy this value paste it here so why i'm showing this one these things because we have to make sure that our selectors are robust and dynamic so that it will not change when <coughs> if there any change in the locate if there any change in the attribute value like if we refresh the page the our selectors would not break let's refresh the page now and this was the selector which we have written let's hit enter so this is saying it is correct it's still finding one matching node so this we can use it in our script okay let's take this one come back here and here in Cy uh, cypress we write sci cy dot get this is the method it is something like in selenium it is find element and here we will paste the css selector value and then we have to uh, type something there in the box so this is for the first name so we will type first name let's we type sanjay and eh, complete this one if i will hit save command s i'm doing it on mac so it will be command s if you are on windows that will be control s so you see that it has entered the value here sanjay if let me uh, here you see that this will like if you hover here it will show again it will execute the command again and that you that will be like something like gif so this is really amazing and you can see each and everything happening here and this is the screenshot that this is the element which was there let me re-execute the test case and you see that here you can see it here so it has entered the value sanjay now let's uh, complete all these steps here now uh, inspect this element surname so it is it has generated selector with this one and now it is not generating with id because we have kept the id as uncheck if you notice this uh, let's say you don't want with name and you want with area label but area label is not here so what you can do you can also pass your attribute name here area label and hit enter it will generate with your attribute so you can take this one now if we will copy this selector and go back to our script here again we will have to type this sci dot get right but let's why to do that one as well we can do it direct from here <coughs> complete command we can get there's a set driver command click on this and here what you have to do you just type your command cy dot get and wherever you are writing css selector just replace that selector by uh, xpath value keyword xpath value keyword i have kept it simple for anything you just have to type xpath value here also you can hover and you will get the uh, instruction from there that wherever you have written the selector just replace that by xpath value in your command and now if you hit enter you see that it has generated the complete command so now if you copy this and come back here in your script you can directly paste this one and here you can use your command whatever you want to do with that so basically like complete getting complete selector from selectors up along with that uh, your command and we can enter this value it will be now it will be very easy let's see you see that if you inspect this one you get that complete thing and it is generating with area level if you remove the area level from here it will generate with something let's say name and all so now if you copy this come back to your editor paste it we want to type 
here this is an email field so you can type email let's say selectorsub at gmail.com next is a password field inspect this this will be generated paste this and type here we can type abc123 anything it could be anything <laughs> then uh, we'll select these values from the drop down so this one this is the first one which is a day so directly you can paste and uh, here in cypress uh, there's a method to select value from the select drop down directly you can use the select method here and pass the value which you want to select from the option so let's say we want to select the date 8 for me for month this is the select drop down and these are the options like which options you want to select so let's say we want to select the value fab so here we will copy the select command and we want to select let's say fab and then we'll select the year by the time i will complete this you will get to know my date of birth <laughs> so this will here goes uh, let's say we want to enter 1990 then uh, we want to select the gender of course i'm male so i will select this and here if you notice that this seems like value is equal to 2 so here it looks like uh, this is a <coughs> dynamic we can verify this one so what we will do like you turn off command it will come without command click on this here it comes verify this this is one matching note also if you want to like in this case if you want to write your own css selector you can do it from here so you can choose which uh, whatever you want like value to and here you might be thinking that we can use the name because that is sex but with the name you see that there are three matching node so that is the region that we haven't used okay so we have to find out unique matching node so let's use this one this css selector and let me copy this value and refresh the page let's see if it changed or not hit enter you see that it has highlighted the same so it is working now we can turn on this and we can use this value come back here cy.cat and we want to click on that right so click this is the method now uh, I have hit the save button so you will see that the test case is executing here it has filled all the values like date month year this has selected here it has entered all the value this is the new field which has introduced when you will enter the email so it it will introduce the new one so that is the another case like we can, that also can be done so you see it is fill, filling all those fields and it has done this test case let me uh, let us complete that uh, one more field like enter email so what that field comes that field comes like when we enter selectors of at gmail.com then this field introduced so let's select this one as well re-enter copy this come back to editor after entering this email we have to re-enter the command Selectors of at gmail.com and now save this one. Let's see the magic here. So it has entered and selected all those values. If we re execute this one, So you see that it has completed and you can see all those steps here just by hovering and whatever you want everything you could be checked here you see that 8599 mail selected and everything is done okay now we have completed this test case <coughs> and we have taken some time like I guess uh, uh, almost this has been almost like uh, more than 12 13 minutes now to complete this test case while explaining I was explaining a lot of things if you are doing it like by your own and you know everything it can be really fast and to make it further like more efficient everything like just writing command one by one inspecting each and every element like what we were doing we were inspecting this coming back here 
copying this going back to editor pasting that value here then coming back here then inspecting this then copying this then going back to editor and pasting it here it was a whole lot of time consuming can we get all the commands in single shot all these and just finish the test case yes that can be done let me delete all this and do it like really fast quick just in few seconds so what we will do there you have to do uh, nothing much you have to do there's a uh, we can generate the uh, like multiple selectors and automation code directly there's uh, this button click on this keep this command turn on and keep this uh, like filters whatever you have applied it will generate x uh, selectors here css selectors and all possible selectors along with xpath and command <coughs> as per your setting nothing you have to do it's very simple let me first keep it off everything command is off attribute filter whatever you have set according to that it will generate let's just start inspecting these element you see that in the uh, selectors hub it is generating uh, along with the name xpath css selector id whatever possible selectors are there it will start generating and you see if you notice that this is css selector is same as what has been generated before okay now it is generating css selectors so you can just copy all and paste it here but again like that command thing you will have to type right no you will not have to do that selectors so will take care of that now turn on this command you can kept it turn on in the beginning itself not a worry so you see that it is generating with complete command if you click to copy all command see the magic so it is coming all now let's see let me do it from the beginning <coughs> we were here you just turn on click on this generate automation code we are here start inspecting the elements here which all you need and you will see that in selectors of everything is getting generated you just keep inspecting here new password day month year gender and we want to let's say sign up as well we got all the commands you just click on this command uh, click on this copy all button come back to your editor paste it and you see the magic everything you got in single shot and here we want to type let's say we want to type sanjay we want to type here kumar whatever like you want to do click you want to type or you want to send something anything you want to do select something that you can do it here and it will be really quick so you will be completing your command like anything without wasting any time so this will make your test case writing script writing really quick because you have got everything and you just have to uh, type few things here or like whatever you want to perform that only you will have to type here and rest will be really quick and everything selectors and all it will be all stable so because we have set the uh, we have set already the attributes and command everything and here i'm not just clicking on the sign up button because that will take email now i have clicked save you see that it is executing here and that's all done so this is really quick and really easy to do it this feature will make your process your test case writing with cypress really really quick and will save a huge amount of time this you can export as well directly in your xls whenever you want to use you can use it back and here you get all of them if you uh, find like any command has been generated by mistake that you can delete from here you can copy all if you want to clear all there's a delete all button you can delete all you can go back to your uh, this mode here 
and this command and uh, attribute they are saved in local so you need not to set this command again and again like anytime if you close this one and if you feel that oh my settings are gone uh, what uh, like if i will open selector sub again again i will have to set all those no you will not have to do that see that command your attribute whatever settings you have done earlier they will be always saved here so every time you will not have to waste time on that and if you doesn't want anytime you can turn it off you can keep it off i mean basically the attribute thing you can just if you don't want to see it here you can keep it off and in the background it will work like that way it will generate selectors and everything with whatever attribute you have set it here so that's really nice and there are like lots of amazing features if uh, you can keep exploring it will really help you a lot if you doesn't want like auto generated mode you can keep it off you can just use it use it as an editor to write your own selectors there are really amazing feature if you will be doing anything wrong in the selectors or uh, you will do anything uh, any mistakes here while typing selectors while typing x path it will show all of them like this is wrong or what is wrong if it is inside iframe it will show if it is if it will be inside shadow dom all those features it has that will really help you a lot so i hope this tutorial will help you a lot while uh, writing your cypress script and you can really write your script fast and more efficiently i would really request you if you like this one please uh, like share and subscribe share this uh, tutorial with everyone help others to know about selectors of how efficiently they can write their script and how efficiently they can solve their uh, problems of selectors this is absolutely free guys so if you feel that you are getting benefit out of it please be patron please donate for this one and let others know if you want to make tutorials you want to write the uh, blog on selectors up feel free to write it spread the word and let everyone know about it to more upcoming innovations and tutorial please subscribe to this channel this will help you a lot and there are really good uh, conceptual videos on the channel so please watch them thank you thank you so much keep sharing keep